Have you been in a situation where you thought there was no way out? Maybe you find yourself safe, uh, facing such a situation today. Well, if so, then this morning cup of inspiration is for you because I'm going to share three amazing stories from the Bible that show how God can make a way and how he did make a way when humanly it just did not seem possible. The first story is in Exodus, the story of the children of Israel fleeing from Pharaoh and his armies were bearing down them and they were backed up against the Red Sea. And of course, we know that God parted the Red Sea and the children of Israel walked through safely. And then in chapter uh, 14, verse 27 of Exodus, it says, And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the, the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Now that's a miracle. God parted the waters. The children of Israel walked through on dry ground. When they got to the other side, the waters closed back up. The second uh, story I want to share with you is found in the book of Daniel. There are great stories in the book of Daniel. And it's where Nebuchadnezzar had erected a golden image and commanded all the people to pray to that image at a certain time each day. And three Hebrew children refused to do that. And that was uh, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And Nebuchadnezzar was so mad he had them thrown into a fiery furnace and he had them heat the furnace seven times that it normally was. So the people who threw the children of Israel into the fire, they were destroyed. But miraculously, the children of Israel were unharmed. And in verse 25 of chapter 3 in Daniel, it says, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. And of course, they let them out. They didn't even smell of smoke. And Nebuchadnezzar elevated them. God turned that situation around when there seemed to be no way. And finally, we're back in the book of Daniel. And let me see where my marker is. And this is Daniel himself over in chapter 6, where Darius, the king, some of his politicians and people who worked for him came up with a decree that uh, for 30 days people were only supposed to worship Darius and, and inquire of him and ask him for things. But Daniel refused and he went about his daily prayers. And of course, they report to, to the Lord, to God. Uh, and of course, he was reported. And Darius had no choice because he had dis signed this decree that uh, anyone who defied what he had said would be thrown into the lion's done. And of course, he didn't want to do it, but he had to live up to his words. So he threw Daniel into the lion's done. And in the morning, he came to see if Daniel was okay. And Daniel answered to him and he said, My God hath sent his angel and hath shut the lion's mouths, that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. And of course, Daniel was elevated out of that whole situation. So if you feel that there's no way, just go to the Bible and read these amazing stories. God still does these miracles, and God will make a way for you. I hope you enjoyed your morning cup of inspiration, and I'll see you next time.